Good morning, it's the Yorkshire Trekker and today doing a five mile walk in Weatherby which is just north of Leeds. So Weatherby is a nice little market town in West Yorkshire and the river that runs through it is the River Wharf and the River Wharf is where we start as walk in this car park right next to it and this car park is completely free so that's always a good thing so what we need to do first is head out of this car park and we cross the main bridge which brings you into Weatherby So coming from the car park and we're crossing the main bridge that runs uh, in and out of Weatherby. Basically we're crossing the river wall across this lovely little weir. So just after you cross the bridge, turn right and you head down Lodge Lane but this, this is what, just what I want to show you before we carry on there's some steps that lead down and I, I, I'm, I dare say a few fishermen will know about this because I've just been told about it I didn't know what this was it's called a salmon ladder um, basically the salmon are coming upstream there's no way they can cross that bit there so what they do is they come to the side here and it's, it's basically it's like steps and they're able to jump all the way up to the top of these steps and into the top top part of that weir and as far as I know they carry on the, the journey up, upstream to spawn and then apparently they die shortly after that so but yeah just take a walk down here um, before you carry on your walk I've mentioned before about sounds of rivers and streams and that but down here it, it's thunderous uh, it, I love it mate, I think it's ace So as you can see, no parking down by these trees please This walk is uh, it's from me Waterside Walks uh, book the majority of this walk like I said it, it runs alongside the river wharf once we reach the Lazar Centre on your left you're taking the right at the car park the track to the right so as the sign says Please do take note of the signs because the river wharf is dangerous. Especially when there's no life belts available to save you. <laughs> so temperature wise, I'm showing seven degrees in car. However, the weather app reckons it's gonna be about 15 degrees today bit later on pretty unusual for this time of year in February at the minute there's a little bit of mist uh, clinging on but hopefully once that sun gets through it's gonna burn it all away and I can take some of these layers off so yes yeah, it's, it's nice and steady away um, we're just following this track which is leading us alongside River Wharf like I said on his left hand side there's, there's a couple of like sports fields and at the minute there's some young uns playing football so the path leads to this green bridge uh, don't cross this just go straight on and carry on this same path alongside 
the river. We do come back over that bridge on this return journey. But for now, just carry straight on. Just a second ago, a kingfisher flew past. We were like, like looking down on it and you could just see its blue, glittery, shiny back. Just went quick enough to the to take the camera on and film it. Well, it, it, it wasn't expected, so... So, leaving these sports fields behind now. Come to a metal kissing gate. You need to be going through this gate. Still alongside river, but now we've just come to some open fields. This path does take us into a wood at some point. So I'm not alone today. I've got a guest trekker with me today, and I've got Dave. Hey up, Dave. You all right, mate? <laughs> Walking alongside this river here, it's completely different contrast to our castle crags. We're a lot narrower, uh, loads of rocks, so sort of like creating these rapids, quite a, an active little river. With this one, it's really, really calm and peaceful. The sun has finally brought through and it's come out glorious and with that it's become warmer so I've just took my body warmer off that's now in my backpack uh, took my hat off head we're getting a bit sweaty and we're just carrying on this trail which is basically a grass track there's an abundance of wildlife um, loads of birds obviously I seen a kingfish here. We saw a cormorant earlier. I didn't get to film that. See some rabbits just over the other side of the river from car park. And of course, the greatest spotted Dalmatian wild dog. <laughs> What you do is you come to like a massive edge and you go through a metal kissing gate and this then leads you into the woodland. So me and Dave were taking it really slowly and quietly through this wood because we're seeing loads of different birds blue tits and Dave spotted another kingfisher just flitting across the river. I didn't see it myself that time but it's really calm and peaceful down here so I'm keeping my camera on all the time at the minute just in, in hope that I can capture some of it. left that woodland now and the path now is still alongside the river which is bending round to the right just over behind me we, f we believe that's Collingham and this path should take us round to Linton and the book does mention a, 
a little church and you can see the church just the end of this field we're about halfway down now so at some point soon we're going to be looking to grab a cup of tea and a uh, bit of food and some soup Harriet, 1854. So when you get to Linton Churchyard, just go straight through it. Then we've got a bit of residential area to go through then to head to Linton Bridge. Just got to Linton Bridge. Nice little seat here. Just sat down for two minutes. I stopped here because there's uh, there's now clues that spring is almost upon us. And the little purple flowers and the daffodils. Sun's still out. It's beautiful today. It is looking like the weather app is going to be correct. It could be about 15 degrees. So at the moment, it, it, it's it's lovely. We still haven't had any uh, food and drink yet, but I'm just going to get out of this little village here and then we'll look for some way. So my mistake. That little bridge was actually just a, a, a tiny bridge crossing Collingham Beck. This here behind me, that's Linton Bridge and we need to fall, go up these steps here and we need to be crossing over Linton Bridge to the other side of the River Wharf. I think we go through these gates here. It said there's three gates to go through. There's two here. It's not somebody's house, is it? <laughs> well, that's no access. Yeah, yeah, there's people coming through. Basically, it's like just. It's like going through somebody's yard. <laughs> Morning. Morning. So quite bizarrely, you have to go through two white, two white gates. <laughs> At first glance, it just like looks like somebody's driveway, somebody's um, somebody's property. The book did say to go through three gates, so that's two of them, and it looks like there's another one here. So. Yeah, we're just a little bit bizarre, that. So we're now on Linton Lane. Um, it's no footpath as such. Just a little bit of a verge at side. On a, well, it is a main road. It's fairly quiet at the minute, but you are getting cars coming past, so just be careful at this bit. Especially when you're talking into a camera. Let them get past you. Um, at some point up here, there is a signpost for a public footpath, which takes us down into the golf course to our right hand side. We're just trying to find that now. So we came off Linton Lane, we found the, the sign for the public footpath. Just came down a little bit of a hill. It brings you to the golf course. And you basically just go straight across the golf course. Just be aware that there might be golfers actually out playing, so you do have to cross the fairway 
Well, keep an eye out for these signs here. And we're back on track. Going through just a little short tunnel like a, an old disused railway bridge and we're back on, on the golf course cutting through it. In the book it says his next objective is the green bridge which you saw earlier and that crosses us back again over the river wharf and uh, a little short journey back to car park. I mean weather wise it's beautiful today it's absolutely crazy for the time of year. You know, by rights this should be covered in snow. <laughs> but now it's it's glorious. So what have I got today? Well I've got some grandma and granddad's world famous homemade carrot and coriander soup today. And just chucked a few uh, peppers in as well just to just to liven it up a little bit, you know. So, I'm going to try this now. I can smell it. it. Smells lovely already. Let's try this. Oh, that's spot on that. Lovely and creamy. It tastes coriander in it. I love coriander. So, I've had my soup and I've had my cup of tea. Now, it's grenade time. Right, what I've got today is dark chocolate mint. So I'm looking forward to this one because this is a new flavour. I ain't tried this one yet. So let's get stuck in. Nice dark chocolate. Break it open. Show it showing us all. Oh, look at that. I can smell it already. It smells like after days. <laughs> I spoke to somebody who's tried this and they weren't they weren't impressed. Hmm. I've gotta say I am. It's like eating a, a chunky version of after eight mints. That's spot on. Hmm. <laughs> Gets a thumbs up from me. You've got this bottom layer here which is nice and chewy. Coated in uh, dark chocolate. And you see that white bit? That's your mint cream. I'd probably go as far to say this is the best one I've had yet. It's pretty much towards the end of his walk really because uh, this field where we've just had as food and drink we cross this and then we come to like a it's like a field and a play park go through that and we're back to that green bridge we cross that and then it's basically just uh, back to car park so I'll leave you with a bit of scenery on his way back and then I'll just do a little review in car Right, so a little bit of a review of this walk and you know it was a nice enough walk however it's more of a stroll to be honest me and Dave both agreed really it's more of a it is a child friendly walk that is for certain and if you're a dog walker but as for anything challenging not at all um, it's flat it's completely flat like I say it don't detract anything from the walk it's still a nice walk and like today with the sunshine it's been beautiful the only other downside to it is you never really feel as if, if you like out of it everything's around residential um, properties and areas to start the walk you're along sports fields then you're running alongside the A58 then you go through Linton again residential areas then you're through the golf course 
and before you know it you're back in residential areas along the riverside so like yeah like i said you never really feel out of it i mean like you go up in the Yorkshire dales or the north Yorkshire moors and what have you and you're you're alone you don't see many people this walk you know that there's people all, all all over yeah i mean it's been a good walk it's been a nice walk but it hasn't really challenged us at all in a way i think dave were hoping for a little bit more of a challenge and we will do that another time i mean all said and done it's from a book waterside walks and that's exactly what it is and it does have some lovely scenery but anyway you know i hope you still enjoyed the video i'm hoping there's some nice shots come out of it the thing about this walk is it's so relaxing calm and peaceful and if you're wanting a, a sunday afternoon out alongside the river which is exactly that calm peaceful and relaxing then that is a perfect walk for you if you're wanting something a bit more adventurous then you need to look at another walk i'm afraid but yeah that's the that's the weatherby walk five miles really didn't seem like we'd done five miles i mean me and our sam did that walk at pundon reservoir and bronte country that was four and a half and that seemed twice as long as this so i've no idea what's going on there so anyway from the orchard trekker and dave my guest trekker hopefully see you in the next video and please like subscribe and share until next time see you later so me and dave's now just been fed and watered <laughs> 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 yeah.